said, you do not have to work tonight. And you can go home. I said, I'm out of here. I'm packing my bags. I'm going to go read some Gautama. Now, I'm going to have time to read one chapter for right now. Then I'm going to go to my grandma's house, eat over there, come back. We're in there like swimwear, man, because I've got to read, at the very least, some Gautama greatness today, man. I, I've been holding it in ever since I read the last chapters because those chapters were incredible. Chapter 631. To the negotiations which the planet's survival rides on, I see quite an interesting idea that, prin that Prince cooked up saying that if you don't do something about the nanomachines by morning, he'll erase the Earth. And he's not just threatening you. It seems he's threatening us as well. Transmit this to the Liberation Army on Earth. Tell them we've been abandoned by headquarters, and that if they don't want to go down with the Earth, there are only two choices. Either do something about the nanomachines, or make the country fall before morning. Elder, even we cannot. And they hit Gengai. So the choice is clear, isn't it? This man looks like Vivi. From Final Fantasy IX, you know, that's, a, that's a legendary character, man. Vivi. We go back alive and kill that prince brat. It's clear to me that you're not a man that will yield to torture. So then this is not a threat, and I will say it once. If you have a trump card yet to use, get moving with it. If you're nothing but a useless old man, we'll just kill you immediately. We know that there's something that, that there's probably no way to stop the nanomachines. But what if instead we asked about a way to kill that prince? Ooh, I feel like I haven't seen this man since the anime ended. I swear, I swear I haven't seen this man since the anime, and I'm already sweating. I just all I saw was, was I just I just got a good look at the guy. Ooh, you freaking Mutsu! It's like a goat of anything going in. Sometimes you just have to give up. Pathetic. This freaking intro, man. Is that the Earth's last hope? To think that this is already all they have left to attempt to, to stop Hino Kagu, Kagusuchi. Right? Yeah, I think that was the name. Hino Kagusuchi. W what is this malfunction? What is it? Our radar has detected multiple ships behind the ammonitory ship. But this, there shouldn't be a fleet this size there. That's no malfunction. Gentlemen, gentlemen of the Liberation Army, your actions towards the Earth is nothing but an act of invasion disguised as the Liberation you are no liberators, you are invaders. Even if the rest of the universe allows these barbarian acts to continue, we will not. This planet's Okokus. Old man, look at this man, Hata, dude. Hata! Old man servant says he will never forgive you. You bastard, what do you think you're doing? Trying to pin this on somebody else at the last second. Trying to save your own skin, you prince pig! But I didn't even do anything. Someone just told me out of the blue, I've got to show this whole thing and read this paper. Yeah, well, this old man servant has barely done anything either. All I've done is grow my beard. I'm pretty pretty much just like... Lay <laughs> this man said, all I've done is grow my beard. That's it, man. Like, he's contributed nothing else but to grow his flipping beard. I'm pretty much just a living corpse. He should be doing at least a little work, you know? How did he even get like this in the first place? Who the hell decided we should fight? He should be the one to say all this. Hey, who said we should fight? Raise your hand. We won't get mad. Okay, then everybody close your eyes. I've got mine close too. You can just let the Liberation Army know. Don't try to squint and just pretend your eyes are closed. Dude, you can't tell me you didn't do that a, a lot. Especially during hide and go seek. Shoot, man, you'd be squinting hard, man. Seeing everybody, especially when you hear grass moving behind you, man. And then you're, you're trying to like sneak looks playing hide and go seek, man. Come on, man. Good times. Good times. We want the person who stole my lunch money. Be our, who stole my lunch money. This isn't about lunch money. And here comes Hasegawa, bro. Now you already know this is supposed to be a troll, a, a troll segment. Uh, no fair. What, was that a feint? So everybody had their eyes closed. We found the lunch money thing. <laughs> That's right. Hasegawa said that, you know, Hasegawa was like me. Whatever, everybody has their eyes closed, man. I'm, I'm going to start maneuvering. I'm going to take advantage of the situation. Man. I'm a Rochimaru in the cut. I'm, I'm slithering in the floor. I'm trying, I'm using Dead Silence, Search and Destroy style, Call of Duty 4. I'm, I'm out there, man. I'm using Dead Silence, Bomb Squad. I'm looking around. I'm in, I'm prone, walking around with a silenced MP5. I'm just like Hasegawa, man. You gotta take advantage of the situation. Lunch money, all you guys eat is dog food, so I just borrowed some pudding from the fridge. Believe in pudding 2017, folks. I thought that was less of, of high, my high-grade pudding than usual. So it was your doing? Prince, leave the elimination of this man to me. And then he, he's, he's grabbing his meat! You bastard, that's my one job. Give me back my pudding! Right, you were eating it too. Don't tell me, Hasa. And this man, Hasegawa, bumps his head on the thing. And they fire a laser! Follow the prince's lead. <laughs> Goat! Hasegawa's head 
accidentally hits it, and now it, it, it lets her a, a complete full scale invasion, freaking uh, uh, Legend of the Galactic Hero style, which was a fun. Yo, that, the first two movies, because I was told to watch the first two uh, movies before I watched the anime. Gold, bro. The first two movies of Legend of the Galactic Heroes was godly, godly, godly. I was like, bro, I, I gotta, I gotta watch this series. I gotta watch Legend of the Living Galactic Heroes, son. Follow the Princess Lee. Launch a counterattack. So it's begun. Hopefully, we'll be able to escape. Well, then we'll be going to yo. My boy Zura's wearing the headband. The legendary. You're all right then. Look, look at freaking Elizabeth, bro. Cause we're saying, why bring this up now? Ever since the moment we decided to go with you, we've long since been ready. We came to outer space to do only one thing. Look at Liz, man, out here dual wielding rocket launchers, man, the joy faction behind them. To protect our country by driving off the foreign enemy invading it. Because we are the joy patriots. That's right! I am the Joy Patriot, Kot Katsura Kotaro. I vow on that name to bring down Heaven's Judgment on the Liberation Army. That's what I'm talking about, man. You look at this panel, dude. Zura! Let's go. Throw it all in the fire. Your hatred, your sadness, your hopes, and your dreams. That, that flame that consumes us all is burning. Such a beautiful, innocent light. It's unmistakable. This is a holy war. This is like a again. Yo, I keep bouncing into this thing. I'm afraid this light, the, the, the freaking, this thing right here is going to fall. Oh, snap. And then I'm freaking, well, and we're back here. And it's still night over here, man. This shit's a gooey. The world's going to be blown out of the sky in six hours? So the Liberation Army started to get active again all over the place is because of that? So they're not going to lose even if it means destroying the whole planet and sacrificing their comrades. I sure didn't expect they'd spur their... their, their dispirited soldiers and on in a way like this you got any plan thought son yeah i wonder if there's still time to go to a cabaret club don't give up it <laughs> don't give up i ain't giving up there's gonna be some cabaret club i knew it i knew he was gonna bring that up man they'll fight right up till the world's destroyed screw it man i mean who, who, if, if you need to do that yo if you need to do what you gotta do you need to do what you gotta do that that's simple as that Till you give up and Giving up ain't that bad of a thing. Sometimes when you don't let go a little of the, uh, when you don't let go of the little lifesaver you're clinging to, you can't grab the big lifesaver next to you. That's factual. For now, you guys should fling the earth away and go save good guy. That's the one thing we shouldn't be throwing away. We can't just fling our lifesaver to a place where nobody is. I don't know if we're enough to be entrusting the world to, but there are definitely guys out there way worse than us when it comes to not knowing when to quit. I'm sh No. No way. No. I'm sure there are guys out there that'd be pissed if the world were destroyed. Even more than no, bro. That can't be him, bro. What is the cell ship even away? No, 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 no. No, they're going away from it. That has to be my boy, bro. That's gotta be the goat. That's gotta be the hottest man in literature. What is it? We've been hit. A stealth ship, even a radar, I can't pick up. How is it targeting us? It can't be. The enemy mothership is such functionality that surpasses our stealth functionality. After coming all this far, all we can do is bulldoze our way through. Don't don't let up plunge in. That's gotta be him, bro. That's gotta be him. I'm gonna break this chair. Run this way. Retreat. We've got some, we have to go somewhere else. This is close. Yeah, it's gotta be, bro. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. The control you did, the, the helm won't work. This is bad at this rate. We won't even make it to the enemy mothership. Katsura son. So, you know, Sakamoto's out here, man. He, he's shooting away like freaking Space Patrol per, per, Persona 5, l l l freaking uh, <laughs> Dungeon Palace 5. I don't. I don't ah! Sakasu, they, 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 they just keep coming. Is this the end? Burn and become ash. And a, an attack from the starboard side. What? That fleet. Zuru shook. Okay, so let, let it be him. Let it be my boy, the goat. What the hell are you dragging your feet for? You got. Hey, Zuru! <laughs> yeah! I gotta, see, I gotta see my boy's face, yo. I haven't seen it in so long. We can't have that. I don't know if it's Liberation Army or what. But if you're gonna start taking liberties when people are away, then our business dries up. Hot ski! We're gonna destroy the earth. Sorry, but it's not your place to do that. No, no, lesson 631 end. The one who's gonna destroy the world is me! <laughs> Man, yo, 
Sakatsugi's already back. Look, it's the one that's going to destroy this world. Oh, crap, crap, I got to get going to my grandma's house. Right, guys, I'm back. Bro. Sakatsugi Hotsuki. Man. Bro, you know, on the drive over there to my grandma's house, I was just thinking, myself, I was like, no, Takatsugi's back, man. It, it, it hurts because I know we're getting closer to the end. But still, you can't help but get hype, bro. It's Takatsugi. And he, and he was like in a different uniform than usual. He kind of looked like a, like, a, like a member of the Shinsengumi from behind, you know? That's why I was like hesitant. I was like, is that Takatsugi? Because from the back, it kind of looked like Yamazaki. But from the hair, I was like, no, that's gotta be Sugi, bro. That's gotta be Sugi. <laughs> you. <sighs> Regardless, let's go, let's go, let's go. Listen, 632. I'm. Will you bring me with. A flashback. With Makoto, with you, the creation of the Kaintai. Or the. You, you, you know what I mean. Will you bring me with you? I know who you are and what you're trying to do. I'm the same way. Yo, it's a flashback of Makoto and Takatsugi. I lost everything in the war. My father fought despite misgivings and was captured and killed by this country. And Beta, just, just, just to be the wife of a criminal, my mother was, was persecuted and died. Now that I'm the only one left, the only thing I can do is avenge my family with this gun my father left me. You can just hear the flat this this song in the background. The um the the uh the, the fucking take care buddy. Wait please. You lost everything too, didn't you? To the Bakufu and the Imanto. Please let me take revenge on this country with you. Let's avenge everyone. With me? Do you think your revenge is the same as mine? In that case, why don't you blow your head? Why don't you blow your own head in with that gun? <laughs> Yo, talking to you is a savage. Because that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Bro, why don't you blow your own head in with that gun? Because that's what I'm trying to do. No way, what am I reading? That's what destroying a country is. You still have time. Focus your energy energy on living a wise life. That's what he said back then. That man's eyes were those of a man that was not trying to crush, to crush a country. They were the sad eyes of a man continually destroying himself. Takatsugi. You know, yesterday we had a poll in, uh, in Khan's group. And they asked who your favorite uh, villain was in anime. And... Uh, uh, my, my my favorite is, is Diego Brando from, from, from JoJo. But uh, besides that, man, you know, and as much as I love the character of Griffith, I had to vote for Takatsugi, especially in terms of just strictly speaking of anime. Be uh, because not only is it is it freaking Koyasu, man, it's, it's the GOAT. It's the GOAT voice actor, you know. But Takatsugi, he just, he has everything, man. He's He's the leader... Of an organization, he is. He just has that cool vibe uh, about him. It, you know, the design is awesome. The voice acting is awesome. Memorable lines, the great dialogue, you know, everything that 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 makes a villain, especially nowadays on TV. But Takatsugi has that level of depth to him, man. That you just can't help but love the guy, dude. You just you can't help it, man. He's just too goat. It's like it's like whenever, um, especially as an adult. Uh, and, and like in wrestling, I always cheer for the heels instead of the baby faces, and that's because they, they just seem more cool to me. So it's always been for me and Takatsugi, man. Takatsugi, he just oozes the, the aura of coolness from him. And, but whenever you see flashbacks like this and, and more levels of depth into his character, especially whenever others that are close to him speak about him in, these, in this manner, it's like it gets you so hyped for him, man. Takatsugi! <laughs> And weapon to destroy the earth? Sorry, but it's not your place to do that. The one who's gonna destroy this world is me. <laughs> and me just standing in front of them. And there's no way in hell I'm handing it over to some low lives like you. Look at this dude. Yo, why do why is he wearing this uniform? He looks like a freaking member of the Shinsengumi. That looks exactly like a Shinsengumi uniform. Those that do good that those that do good things while doing bad things. <laughs> Sounds like a human, honestly. 
the eyes of the man that said that were the fearless eyes of someone that wouldn't back down to anyone. What? Who is this man? You don't know of the legend of Takatsugi Hatsuke? <laughs> Come on, Encho, man. Do some research. Stay right there. No need to be so frightened. Be at ease. I'm not allied with anyone here. Nor do I plan to take any sides. I'm simply the enemy of the entire universe. That's how I was, was expecting was something he would say. Fire! Flashback. More to a Patriot Hunters. Apparently they, they heard that she had some dangerous weapons on her. And when they tried to confisc confiscate them, she, she resisted. When those Bakufu officials come, they always call. They always call anybody they don't like a joy patriot and tie them up. This is quite a troubling time. Quite a pitiable story, I dare say. Takatsugi. I've heard that quite a few innocent people have been imprisoned just like her. Meanwhile, there are scoundrels out there that would be far more appropriate to tie up. Like Takatsugi Shinsuke. They're talking about him, then we know he's there. There are rumors that man of the four Joy Patriot Heavenly Kings is hiding out in these parts. And it shows that, oh, so this is taking place after you talk to Makoto. It seems the authorities had their eyes on that girl because she was seen with him. That's not what I heard. From what I heard, an even bigger figure is here. I believe his name is... Kawakami Bonsai, the man slayer! <laughs> the Batosa! I'm afraid I don't recall that name. Regardless, it would seem that girl's luck ran out when she approached such scoundrels. The least I can do is play her a lullaby so she can sleep soundly. Suki's so looking back. Hey, you. What are you doing there? Perhaps if you quieted down and listened, you'd hear I'm performing. You're the one that should be quiet. Excuse me. Hmm, aren't those katana you're carrying? Are you joy patriots? You see, dead... Or at least, like, guys that got wrecked right under this cross. And you're breaching section 17. No, oh, man, I need more of this flashback. They're in combat with unit 501. Yo, either the <laughs> bonsai. So this is all about the creation. Dude, I've, I've been wanting something like this. Where's back up needed a repeat? No, man. I, I, go, go back to the flashback. Section 7 and section 22 as well. Attack ships keep coming one after another. Yo, here goes Bonsai and Makoto! <laughs> Our freaking um, um, Toko. I, I, it's just, you know, I've been playing a lot of, of, of flipping, um, uh, Persona 5, and, and, and now, whenever you just take one thing out, like one name, you switch it around, it, uh, it's because I've been playing so much Persona, and one of the characters named Makoto Nijima, so that's why I've been free for free. But Toko! Alright, flipping, you know, you, you know what I meant, man. Are right, you know what I meant? It, it, it is what it is. Probably no one even realized until I just said it right now. But regardless, greatness is going down. Who am I the flashback? Who would have thought that they would bring in that much personnel just because we took one girl? It would seem we were set up. That fate was to capture you. Dude, this is what we saw in that, in that flashback back in, um, in the Rakuyu arc. Takatsuki Shinsuke, the dogs that saw her meeting with you, used her in order to land you. I don't recall being set up by people like them. The one who instigated me into doing it was you. Apologies, I just wanted to see what kind of man the living legend was. So what kind of man is he? He may have been boasting, and there she is. He may, he may have been boasting about some grandiose things like destroying the world. But since he couldn't even abandon one girl, it seems talk is all it was. That's factual though, right? <laughs> so I can't say I dislike idiots like that. Me too. A man that bragged about how this country abandoned the samurai, so they're abandoning it. And planned to break out of all, all of the joy patriots in prison here all by himself. Got himself in prison for the sake of one girl, of all things. There are few people out there that are that much of an idiot. But there may be a boon for having stuck with me thus far. What now? We'll be executed tomorrow. If we're going to be judged by the country and meet our ends here anyhow, why don't you die for me? Bonsai the manslayer. I can't believe we're actually getting this. 
And then we go back into the present. You see, she's going, you know, yo, when this episode gets animated, it's going to be one of the best episodes, man. But uh, for me, for me, as a person who absolutely loves this faction, loves these characters, this is, this is going to be an amazing episode. You're trying to solicit me in a place like this? For, even for an idiot, that's pretty dumb. In that case, what would you die for? I won't die. No matter whose corpse I have to, to I have to use as a stepping stone, I won't die until I've crushed this country. It doesn't sound like the words of a man who had phase of a man who's going to be executed tomorrow, I dare say. But if that boasting actually turns out to be the truth, I wouldn't mind using this life for such a grand lie. Is that right? Then that settles it. And there she is. Release those people. Honestly, he's already saved your life twice. You should not waste that pale young body of yours. <laughs> Flipping and Basil, man. <laughs> that pale young body of yours. Is it that you want the Takatsugi to acknowledge you? No, that's not it. Even if, even if he won't acknowledge me or take me with him, I just don't want that man to die. This country needs him. That's all I fought, you pedophile. <laughs> so this is where it started. I see. Well, then there will not be a third time. And I'm not a pedophile. Therefore, I will not treat you like a child any longer. Don't move. I'm returning this to you. The thing you should be doing right now is not pointing that dagger at me. Observe Takatsugi Shinsuke Dono and Kawakami Bansai Dono. Preparations are complete. You would do well to take your revenge yourself. How can this be? The imprisoned Joe Patriots are already free? Takatsuya can't be, do you? Have a Bakufu official on your side? No. I was invited to become an advisor, but I've never had any intention to up until now. But a moment ago, I made up my mind. Because just like them, I am a feminist! <laughs> this guy's a troll! I am a feminist! <laughs> Beautiful, man! I, I couldn't have asked for anything better! What a disgraceful sight. And it's showing all of them back then. We, the key, hey, die. The group that assembled to be grudge curse. And destroy the world. And you see them on that day where they just wrecked havoc like the Phantom Truth. Yo, know, just do, do, do. Dude, we're not trying to save it, are we not? No, senpai. Nothing's changed. Because we know the fact that the key, hey, die was born to destroy the world. Let's go. That's what Takatsugi took. That's what Takatsugi said. Let's go. That the Kei was born in order to save one girl. What is this art? And that both of those things are who we are. So we don't really mind whichever way it falls. Whether our opponent is the world or the universe. We'll, cr we'll, we'll crush rotten pieces of shit. That is Takatsugi Shinsuke's Kei Tai. And it shows us godly battle of Takatsugi Zura and Takagoto! Why is Gotama so good? What have I been doing with my life? Why haven't I been reading this greatness? I gotta see this panel. I gotta see this panel. Yo, this panel is godly. Go back. Go back. Look at this panel, bro. Yo, that sh- I thought 6.30 was godly. Then they hit me with the cliffhanger in 6.31. And now I get hit with this chapter. A flashback of how it came to be. Yo, in order to save one girl. It shows, it shows how they all came together, too. And just a simple eight, what was it, 18 pages? 18 pages! In the pen. Look, look at this ending. Look at look at this piece page of Sakamoto Takatsugi and Dragon Zora. Look at Zora. His hair's flowing in the wind. The head, man. Oh, next page. Next page. Adults' Day. If there's a Children's Day, then look at Kagura in the background. Then we should be able to have Adults' Day too, right? What about Labor Thanksgiving Day? Well, there are adults out there that don't do labor too, you know. But the case we gave y'all the gal. Probably around February 10th would be good. What is this neat day? It's even got decorations like this doll, like the doll's remain. If that doesn't get moving, it's not going to be a doll. It's going to be a living corpse. We can put up some carp streamers too. Uh, if they can know that carp is budgie jumping to hell. We're on adults' day, right? Not really. I have the day off every day already. 
I don't see any adults around here. <laughs> oh man, let's see what the deal with it. Yo, that chapter is what I always wanted. And I always wanted a flashback chapter for how the Kihei Tai came to be. Blew my expectations away, man. I can't, I can't lie. Blew my expectations away. Let's go. 633. The difference between a god about and a sage is paper thin. So if we win, we're imperial forces. If we lose, we're a rebel army. Is that the goat? Is that back in the day? Wait a minute. Hold on. Azura, we're not rebels and we haven't lost, so why are they always making us out to be a bunch of punks calling us a rebel army? How many wins do we need to get before we do a class change to imperial forces? We're gonna need a book of enlightenment or something like that, I guess. No matter what you may fight for, those that attack the country are always labeled the rebel army. Unless we remove the Amanto, topple the Bakufu, and establish our own new country, we'll never be the Imperial Forces. The difficulty curve is shit in this game. It'd probably be easy, easier to class change the Demon King Bottomos. Bottomos. Demon King Bottomos. That sounds so familiar. Relax, Gintoki. Gadabaka can become an, an Imperial Army at level 20, even without the Book of Enlightenment, as a sage. Imperial Army is a nickname given to <laughs> Gitsakatsugi. Yo, they're, they're all together here, man. Imperial Army is a nickname given to idiots who do whatever a country says. Or are you saying that somewhere around here it is actually some saint that's fighting for the country and for the people? You idiots, the joy wars are half made up of kindness. Okay, maybe it's not the number one component, but caring about the country is definitely up there. If you want to be popular and, and blow off and, and wanting to blow off some steam, so then the joy wars are all just made up of a bunch of junk then? I don't care what I get called. Even if even if no one understands it, we know what it is we're doing. That's more than enough, isn't it? And anyhow, do you guys seriously think that you're the type that could ever be called an Imperial Army? Traitors, insurgents, a rebel army, all of those nicknames fit you far better. Oh yeah? We're such an edgy teenager, I'll bet you love being called that. <laughs> hey goodness, shooting right back at him, you a shoot, brother. Sorry, my preferences don't quite line up with somebody that could name their group the <laughs> Team Soldier Unit. <laughs> He's selling out with a serious face. What's wrong with the name Kihei Tai? Um, maybe it's that it's only slightly less embarrassing than a biker gang being called the Gang of Hot Rodders. The only one who's getting their rod hot around here is you. Hey, my rod can really spit some fire, I'll have you know. It might be factual. And, uh, you know, actually, it's 100% factual, man. I'll tell you that. For your alarm, yeah? Even if a day comes when we overturn the country, I don't think we'll ever be called that. Unruly children are un unruly children wherever they go. Damn right, man. Stop them. Sounds like a salt chip before. Nah, bro. Yo, that panel is sick. Yo, 632 might be my favorite chapter in this entire arc. But I, I, I have to reread it, but it's just that chapter was so good, man. It was the key. Talk, talk, story. Look at Takazugi, bro. He's still going in. Key, I tie. Charge. So you made it, eh? You demons, you made the trek out into space, did ya? Well, you sure kept us waiting, but I knew you'd make it, Takatsugi. I, I thought you look at Elizabeth in the background, man, freaking Zura's like, yo, this art, look at this art right here. It looks beast. I thought you would have been shaking with fear over the idea of coming out here into this corner of space. Are you here to be slain by me, Takatsugi? I wouldn't mind going out with you bastards first. I'm picking a fight with the entire universe anyhow. So do you plan on taking the universe after taking the country? It looks like even the vastness of, our, of outer space isn't calmed down your big talk. But this time, let's make that big talk a reality. It'd probably be better. It'd probably be way better than getting destroyed by those Liberation Army guys. It would not. Taking the universe is no different from taking a country. No matter how many castles I capture or planets I capture, I can be sure he'll be there standing in the way. You're damn right he will be! Oh, the Shino Yasha! As long as he is on that planet, as long as he does not fall, I won't be able to take the planet or the country. It's a factual statement, man. He knows. He knows. This is, a, this is a beast battle of Gin, too. You're the art in this chapter, Sirachi, man. A1. I see then, then the Earth's gonna be peaceful as long as that idiot's around. Good news for us. That means we can go as hog wild as we want. Not quite right. Yo, look at this panel. They're back to back. Flames. Everything's going up. It's 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 all we're going. Oh my god. It just means that out in space, there's no no one to interfere. We're free to capture it together. You know, looking at this panel right here, guys, it reminds me of when, back whenever I first watched Benny's Akira, and you know, we saw the 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 entire battle between 
uh, Gintoki and Zura versus the Amanto while Takatsuki just we just observed. And, you know, it's just to see how far we've come since then, man, from the very first serious arc. And then, and then we come all the way back here. And here we have them all fighting together. Again. You know, it, it, we had it back in Rakugo where all four of them were fighting together. But here, it's, it's just these three. It's Takatsuki, Sakamoto, and Zura. Just to see Takatsuki and Zura, you know, back to back, going at it, it's just... It's really showing you, man, that we're really close to the end, guys. And it's awesome. It's awesome. It's, it's such a such a happy. It's, it's it makes it, it gets you so happy, man. Just knowing that their bonds and their relationships, it, it, it's still there. You know, it's, it's it's still still there, man. And I love it. It's, it's, it's stuff like this that really makes Kintama stand out as a series for me. It just means that out, out in space, there's no one to interfere. We're free to capture it together. Geez, I guess this late in the game, if we don't have that much resolve. Why is Zura's face like that? When then we won't be able to grab hold of victory, unless we get us to, unless we get you to lend us your power. I'll do whatever I have to. You have to drag out everything from that world. The hope, the despair. This panel. It shows five nineteen, five twenty, and then it gives us the the freaking. 517 all in one panel yo all that pain you know talking to give gintoki still the greatest thing i've ever read and anything it's the greatest thing i've ever experienced oh man but seeing it has like a darker shade to it this time man like the way the panels are you know the art in this chapter son yo sarat jesus man. Like, did he redraw these or, or does that have like a filter on it because what is going on the good, the evil. Yo, I gotta save this, but this, this, this has to be. This has to be a cover photo. This has to be. Look at this junk. This has to be a cover photo. It, it shows Benny Zaku again in the back. Then it shows chapter five hundred fourteen. Remember, say we are the Go to Zuya. Whenever they first clash in the beginning of chapter five hundred fifteen, and then it shows Takatsugi whenever he read him in episode two hundred sixty one. And then on the bottom, yeah, this is sick. This is sick. This is an amazing free battle. Get it, Takatsugi, bro. Hotsuke, the good, the evil, the comrades, and the enemies, everything. I'll stop this war, and I will crush that man! Why? Why? Why, dude? Where have I been? Where have I been in the midst of all this greatness? Kutama, bro, Kutama. Look at this, bro. He's, he, he, he's gonna go, bro. If I see, if I, I swear, I swear, I swear, bro. I swear. I said this about Takatsuki versus Zoro, bro. I said, I remember, I, you know, you can go back. And well, the, 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 the freaking, the old channels didn't exist anymore, but you can go, if, you, if if somehow you could go back in time, or if you guys have been here for that long, you remember how how it was, how I always said, if we ever get Takatsuki versus Zoro, bro, I might fly out the window. If I see Takatsugi rush Utsuro, and, <coughs> and I see a dialogue sequence between these two men, I actually might fly out of my window. I actually might fly out of my window. Because I've been wanting to see Takatsugi and Utsuro have us have a discussion, just speak to each other for so long, man. <sighs> and I will crush that man. That is the reason I am alive here and now. Why, bro? Why is it so good? Takatsuki Shinsuke, the disciple of Shoka Sonjuku. And Takatsuki Shinsuke, the commander of the Kihei Tai, are both here. What happened? I will throw all of what I am into this battle. What is with this art by the gods? Reinforcements. My Earth friends, hurry. The enemy's numbers are overwhelming. If you stop for a moment, you'll be surrounded and closed in on. Go. I'll stop that oversized weapon. And I'll give you bastards the general's head. You speaking of which, take, take care of our general. I'm glad to see your, your head is still attached. Sorry you're replacing the position of Shogun at such a crazy time. You may have both betrayed and been betrayed. But put your mind at ease. These guys won't betray you. Or this country. The samurai will not abandon the country. Excuse me, so in turn, the country had best not. Takatsuki. 
Yo, we go! I mean, they're about to go in. And they're just they 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 they're going in, bro. They're pressing square. They're spamming, man. Mutsu right here, Liz. Nob Nob. I can't even not call. I can't call him Nob Nob anymore. Yo, Nobu Nobu. I gotta call him by his official name, dude. That chapter was gold. Takatsuki, even without you saying it, I know. When the country was truly on the verge of crisis, when all the retainers abandoned it, abandoned me and fled in every direction, I know who it was that reached their hands out to me. Who, while scorned by the country as insurgents, fought to protect this country. All of you are on a battlefield even now, and continue unknown to anyone that shows them! <gasps> You're the ones abandoned by this country. This country will not betray you again. It will not abandon you again. If you will fight, then the country will fight with you until the very end. If you fall here, then the country will fall with you. The Shogun Tokugawa Nobunobu, the Gold Brocade Imperial Banner, is here alongside you. No one will call you traitors to, to, to your country anymore. I will not let them call you the losers left behind by the passage of time. Stand proud, for you are the legitimate army that is the pride of my country. The Imperial... Rebel Army is fine. That name suits us just fine. I see. I suppose not a vessel that can contain you. Then I too will become part of your rebel army. This country, this planet, will stand with you against the universe as the rebel army. Is there another page? Another page? No, that's it. That's it. Where have I been? Where have I been? Oh my god, bro. I thought, I don't even know what to say. Yo, honestly, to be real, uh, speaking on, on how I truly feel right now, 632 and 633 are my favorite chapters in the arc. They, they, they truly, I mean, just, just off of how I feel right now, on how I truly do feel. These two chapters, I, I can't, I, I just... It's just, I, I don't know what to say. It's like, I, I can't believe that I wasn't here to witness. But you know what? I, I was able to witness it right now. Screw it, man. It, it hit me at the right time. God, that was so good, y'all. Let me, let, me go, let me go back and flip and... Oh, my God. Man, my computer's being so slow. Wait. I still have a chapter? 634, no. Less than 630, rapids jump high on moonlit night. Wait. That wasn't the name of 633. No, let me go back. I think I did see something about a 634 being dropped. I think somebody told me that chapter 634 was, was hype. I remember. Somebody, I think it was Jay Adrian on Twitter. Said that chapter 634 was insanely hype, but I think it was all split. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, right here, 633. This is the chapter with, with get. Oh, I actually have a chapter left. Wait, wait, what am I doing? One more chapter, baby. Let's do it. 634. Hold on. Rabbits jump. Rabbits jump high and move nice. The Yato's plan gets underway under shadow of night. Yo, every time I see that rabbits jump, bro, I keep thinking of you, Bozu, and freaking uh, and Kamui, dude. Rabbits jump high in moonlit nights, and and what's his face? Oh God, man, I'm I'm uh, Hosen, Hosen, no, wait, Hosen. We found it. Take a look inside. There's a number of refrigerated cylinders. There's nothing else we can confirm right here, right there, right here. Got to bring them back here immediately. Oh, uh, here comes Vivi. Yo, I keep uh, this person's Vivi to me. He, he really is. He's he, he, the eyes, the way the shade. He's got a little mage thing right here. He's, he's Vivi. Looks like he wasn't lying when he said he still had something up his sleeve. We're back to getting guy. It is the job of us machine inventors to create contradictions. You could say if someone tells us to invent an invincible shield. It's only once you make a spear, that's the only thing that can break the unbreakable shield that you, that you understand how to make the shield. Meaning, you have a means of destroying those nanomachines currently protecting Edo? Yep. Though I sure didn't expect for it. Takatsugi, to become the spears that destroy the world. How's it going? 
no problems. Well, that's not entirely true. The reinforcements are late on their arrival. And it's only a matter of time until we cannot draw the enemy's attention like this any longer. <laughs> you know him. He, he may have found a battlefield more interesting than, than one where ships take each other down. No need to be concerned, Takachi. We will not need them to take the spotlight, dare I say. Now that the Kiei Tai has entered the fray, we'll, we'll at least have to either save or destroy the world. Anyhow, sent by how's the analysis of Hino Ka Kagusuchi's progressing? New issues on the front. While it's a weapon capable of destroying a planet, its foundation is an old weapon. Knowing that there is a vulnerability we cannot take advantage of. However, even if we stop the Hino Ka Ka Kagusuchi, if the Earth succumbs to that pressure, if that defensive wall goes down, it will all be for naught. I can't say for certain if, if by the time we destroy that weapon and crush his Liberation Army headquarters, that the Earth will remain intact. Snap. And then Gin is down there fighting, man. These guys just don't give up. We cut them down like crazy. We just end up seeing the same dumb faces lined up after them. I'm telling it's like it's like those fodder soldiers that, that that you fight in 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 and um in those Dynasty Warrior type games. They just keep popping up. It's like they're so fodder, but they you just keep seeing the same face over and over again, and you get tired of it. You know? What are, what are you guys, Kitaro Candy? The world's gonna end here while I'm here staring at these brain-dead faces. And while they're doing this stuff, Gengai's son is... This idiot's intuition even right in the first place? Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Kagra. Hey! Yo, I always have to save Kagra panels, man. You know me. We're not getting anywhere. Ginjan, I need to take care of things here. Wait, Kagra! It is not intuition. Kagra! Mixed in with all the bloodlust in the battlefield, I sensed a one different kind of presence. There are Yato here, but how do I know that? Yato hunting instincts? That's true, you know. That's true. Do I have some resonance with them? Because uh, because I, we, this. I, we, the same species? No, that does not matter, yes. There are still Amanto prowling around. They love this planet already. If this power can be of any use... Kagura-chan! Yo, know, she is flying, man. Like, she's an Assassin's Creed going from building to building. Those are more than things she can do by, them, by herself. Kinsan, we have to follow her. Hey! Is that... What the hell is that? It looks like it's coming this way. Is that a meteor? No, you don't think that's Liberation Army's giant weapon. You can write this soon? Run! Run where? It's over. Headquarters finally started its attack on the Earth. Those rank and files are sure and are in panic. If that were Hino Kagusushi, we would have long become space dust by now. Wait, well, most ships that got too close to Earth ended up as food for the nanomachine virus. It's quite ominous that it reaches all the way outside of the atmosphere. But that too ends now. So Gengai, how do you use the contents of this box? Those contain the one existing type of nanomachine that can destroy the bees. The bees. If you scatter them, the bees. The bees. Scattered all over Edo will stop moving. But given how things are, you can't use a machine to scatter them. That's where all the explosives come in. By, by creating explosions, you scatter those nanomachines again and again, gradually expanding the area where machines become usable again. Before too long, the bees will be fully eliminated from Edo. It takes time, but that's the only way. Ready? Explosives immediately. Wait a minute, what the hell? It's a ship! Or, is it a ship? It looks like a missile! Look at all the damage it caused up here. Hold on. Ready explosives immediately. I can see so in freaking BBs over here. So you can still use explosives even in an Edo where machines are no longer usable. I must commend you on your decision to lend us this power. If it's a choice between the earth being erased or stop the bees and getting overrun with attacks, I'd prefer the latter. But then if you take that princess's head as soon as you get back to headquarters. See the princess's head? Well, no, I don't remember promising that. Again, guy, torture will not work on you. That's because you prefer death to losing. Yo, that's a sick line to tell somebody. When you respect somebody that much in terms of, excuse me, their willpower, and you say that is because you prefer death to losing, that's, that's, that's a warrior's will. So if you even have the slightest hope of winning, that is what you bet on. But now you too must accept it. You earthlings have lost. And we no longer care if you die. That ain't so. I hate pain. When my hips hurt, I want to look tomorrow, kick my ass once, and I would I would have helped you out like this anytime. Though this ain't me helping you destroy the bees. It's helping you gather explosives. What you've got there is a special little guy that goes off when his temperature goes up just from the heat of someone touching it. Should be about time now. Sorry, but I trust the guys up there fighting his face way more than I trust you guys. 
Yo. Wait, wait. So, so I was right. That 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 one large, the the large thing that arrived on Earth was was just a, a massive bomb, right? No, that thing right there. And he just blew it all up. But he, he could have blown himself up. Well, then again, he said he, he prefers death to losing. Kagura! Oh, Kagura came in to get Gengai! Genius! He really did it. What the hell? You, you, was quite a, you was quite a charade you let us through. Here we go. Old man Gengai, why is there a Yato hit there? You're not, one, you're not on the Earthling side, are you? Freaking, is this going to be Vivi versus Kagura? Now this is funny, one of our brethren has chosen to die alongside his planet? You should stop this senseless war. If the Earth gets blown up, you will die too. It is your allies that are trying to do that. There should be no enemies or allies here on Earth anymore, yes? At this rate, people from all over the universe will be out for themselves. I think it's safe to say they already are. Yo, man, and then you have a whole bunch of Yato going behind her. Since as members of the same clan are killing each other. You damn wet, you wish you could go to the same Congress and get them all by himself, send your father. You guys are far, Yato. I'm the princess of the Yato. Get out of here. You have other enemies, you know? Open your eyes up and wide and look. Otherwise, you will fall You will fall along with everyone else. Little girl. Vivi versus Kagura, you will not be able to die along with this planet. You should already know that no matter how much you sacrifice for those earthlings, there is no place here for a Yato like you. Now, by now, by this planet and by your brethren, you can go die al alone in this darkness of space. Damn! Yo, look at this dude! Yo, there's a boot coming in! My boy got the thing! Damn! Wait, what the hell is happening? So, so on top of here, we see a like, like, like a little foot type of thing. Looks like a boot. It's like hitting the super in the nose. Huh? He got sent fu- <gasps> That sweet chin music boot anywhere? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? I knew it. I knew it. You he's here. He's here. He kicked his head off. Sweet chin music. There's only one man that has that kind of power, bro. There's only one man. There's only one man. Who the hell are you? Take it off. Take off my hoodie, bro. You know, I know who you are, bro. Uh, trust me, I have been reading Gintama for so long. I know that boot, and I know what it's capable of. Yo, he kicked off his head. Come on, reveal, reveal the face. Do it. Yo, Kagura's looking behind. She has brethren right here. Bro, I can't do this. I can't do this, man. And my heart is beating, son. We'll go to that planet someday. It's not just one idiot that promised that. Tama, I don't want to turn the page. This is too hype. There's one more idiot here. Sirachi blessed me. Sirachi has blessed me. Holy sweet mother of Flagnards. Kobe, that vow drew these siblings together once again! And that's it, I think. No more chapters today, please come back. What do I do? What do I do? There's one more idiot here, and it shows the legend. So in a couple chapters, we get Takatsugi, and then we get Kintoki. I mean, freaking Kintoki. We get Kagui. Come we? I gotta yo that yo hold on I gotta go back to that sweet chin music bro. Look at this, look at look 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 so you see the boot right here, it gets sent back and I was like bro, like that that joke was strong and then but when I saw the side panel I saw Kagura shocked. I said no it has to it has to be it has I know that sweet chin music anywhere. Kicked off his whole head. I knew it was him, bro. I knew it. it, 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 it the, that final thing right there just solidified. You, you that promised that. There's one more idiot here. It shows the goats. The future king of the pirates. Where's my chair at, man? 
Oh my god, dude. What is going on? Why is Goat Tama so goat, man? I don't, I don't, I don't be understanding no more, man. Holy sweet mother of flagnards, dude. You have a brethren right here. Bro, I just... Go Tavo, bro. Like, I. Yo, these are the best chapters in the arc, man. How can they not be? Dude, I'm so hyped, bro. I can't stand still, bro. I, I want to throw this chair out of the way to Mars. Come on, me, man. You have all, all, all the way up in space. You have Takatsugi. You have Hotsuki, man. You have backstories going up there. Now, right here, you have Kamui and Kagura taking on the whole race of Yato. God almighty, we haven't even seen, we haven't got to Utsuro, we haven't even got to Utsuro, <coughs> we got to Utsuro, you know, she's in Gumi, no, but Gintama's ending soon, bro, Gintama's ending soon, I can feel, I feel it in my bones, because now the guys that we hadn't seen in a while, they're, they're, they're here, they're back, <sighs> Jesus Christ, man, I'm sweating, bro, Go Tama, bro. What more needs to be said? These chapters were freaking amazing, man. It's about to go down. Yo, next chapter, Kagura and Kamui greatness. I said I was going to read some Kingdom, bro, but I'm sweating, man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to chill for a bit, wait for this to upload, then read some Kingdom, because, yo, know, these chapters were too much, bro. They were hype. They were hype. These chapters were amazing. Look at this final panel, dude. Best chapters in the arc, I don't care.